Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is MSI GL 62M. I have been using this device from past two years, and I have to say that I never faced any kind of issue with this device. However, it's been two years using 128 GB of SSD and 8 GB of RAM. Yes, uh, these are the basic specs of this GL62M. But currently, I'm planning to upgrade from 128 GB to 500 GB of SSD and 8 GB of RAM by adding one more RAM, which will combine make about 16 GB of RAM. So I bought this SSD, which is 970 EVO plus NVMe is the SSD type. So this is the uh, SSD. I got it from a local store at the same time from the same shop. I got one more RAM of 8 GB, uh, which is going to add up uh, my RAM total as 16 GB and my SSD as 500 GB. So this is the current update which I'm going to do. So. What I have done is, I have uh, unscrewed all the screws and you can see uh, all the outlets are right side and I have kept it very safe. And please make sure uh, whenever you are opening MSI's laptops or anything, make sure you don't open it from this side, open it from other end, this side where there is a minimum ports you can lift it from here like this like this and don't give it a pressure at your right side just push it like this this way uh, you won't cause any issues over here okay so let me show you the SSD. This is the SSD. Currently the SSD is covered up with the thermal protection and uh, so I have to be careful while removing it. Okay. So let's do the simple thing first. Uh, we'll add up add the RAM. which is very simple just see the slots like this push it done the ram has been in, yeah the ram has been installed so now uh, we will remove the thermal pads over here and uh, for that we need to remove the screw first Okay, secure the screw, let me zoom out a bit, great, okay, this doesn't look good, okay. This is the thermal pads. A uh, little bit pressure was required. Uh, it was very easy to remove. Uh, let me keep it aside because we are going to use it again. And uh, I have removed the SSD. Uh, I mean SSD nut I mean to say. And uh, this is not coming out. The reason being is there is one more thermal protection below mm. due to which it is not coming out. So you can little bit lift it up and move it around. 
and we will need this uh, thermal pad again so uh, let me check what is the brand which is used by the uh, it is some hmm not sure it's not samsung it's not nothing i guess it's some random ssd cool no problem okay uh so now let me unbox the samsung's ssd uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was easy. Okay. Oh. Wow, the box looks nice. Uh, I have to hurry up because the thermal pads are wet. So I need to stick them up. And yes, thermal pads are reusable. I don't know how many times, but uh, for the second time, I'm positive that it is reusable. So it's like this i guess this is a slot where it gets fixed and a screw if you secure it it won't move i guess this is the this This is the external thermal pad which was provided by the MSI itself. And it is been good as new, I guess. Yes, it's good as new. As a, as the installation of SSD and RAM is completed, like this. This is the port case. Covered, done. Cool, it's done. And now, uh, before we boot up, you make sure that you uh, you have already uh, installed an Windows 10 in your thumb drive. So, due to which uh, you can install the Windows in your uh, SSD because currently uh, this device doesn't have any OS installed in SSD correct so we need to install it let's power it up and let's see what BIOS says I guess it should be saying press delete if I'm not wrong yes it was the delete boot a boot option is um, USB hard disk this boot position would be this and save and no Save the changes and reset. 
Yes. Hopefully it should read the Windows uh, 10 which I have installed in this device. Uh, let's hope for the best. I guess it's reading. Uh, hola! It's done. From here you can take windows install now now this will take uh, quite a while for uh, getting set up so this is how you can change the ssd completely and reinstall the windows 10 in your new ssd i hope uh, this was very useful for you if yes please uh, hit a like and subscribe to my channel and for more uh, in interesting videos like this and writing videos Please subscribe to my channel.